Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general reading. Uh, this is a general reading. It's not going to be for everybody. So whatever comes out, it is for those who it is intended to, for it to be. Uh, you know, don't try to force it to fit. You know what's going on in your life. I don't. But this is serving as clarity, enlightenment, direction, maybe. Maybe you don't know this. Maybe you are aware of this. It is a general, so only take the part that fits. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. So this is the energy here based on these cards that I got. Got you cards. I got four cards I have already meditated. It's like some type of love triangle, some type of karmic, toxic. I'm not going to, I guess, I guess a love triangle itself can be representative of something that's toxic here. I feel like somebody, now this could be a female dealing with two men, but I feel like uh, it's a, it's spirit is trying to get somebody's attention here. It could be a female. It could be a masculine with two women. It has a love triangle. Don't let two men fall in love with you. It's not the sort of thing that ends well. That's in the reverse. You're seeing the upright, somebody peeking. See, somebody watching. Oh, yeah, they watching. And somebody just having themselves a good old time. And they don't even know that somebody else is watching here. I feel like somebody don't want to be a part of the, the, the party. Somebody feel like a three is a crowd here. Or maybe this is what. I feel like somebody may be finding out. You also have dangers of a lustful relationship. It says lust is a tool, desire, a trap. Will the first and you can take someone's soul fall into the second and they can take yours. I feel like somebody, somebody lust got, got them caught up. It could have been a situation that was okay at first. It's almost like somebody may have thought that they were okay. It's like somebody may have got into a relationship knowing that it was a third party because it was okay at first. I guess somebody may have felt like they could do it because you got live in harmony. It says true love is about growing as a couple, learning about each other and never giving up on each other. <sighs> but I feel like maybe it's the fun, the honeymoon phase may have wore off now and now it's may starting to get kind of dangerous so to speak because then you have reflect on your actions that's in the reverse it says time decides who you meet in life your heart decides who you want in your life and your behavior decides who stays in your life all right so this is spirit telling somebody uh it's about accountability I feel like somebody is real. See, I just said it's about accountability. Look, I'm trying to be accountable. See, it's about accountability because somebody's realizing that something ain't growing here. You got fertility in the reverse. Someone may have found out about an outside person here and, and somebody may have found out about a child or somebody may be realizing that this is not growing. It's not going nowhere. And someone may be finally looking at looking at the situation for what they have allowed themselves to be in. But it's almost like spirit is telling somebody here. Now, you know, you got this situation here where, you know, you got two different people here. And then, you know, you know, the type of people who you dealing with don't play that. And it could go bad real quick. You hear it about on the news every day. Love triangles ending in disasters here. What they call the crimes of passion here. It's almost like you have that temporary insanity. You don't know what's going to trigger you until you're triggered. But when you put somebody in a third party situation, especially if they don't know, even if they know, because let's just face it, three times, three, three, a third, a triangle, it could very well bring in a lot of confusion. So let's see what's going on with the person. Who is the person here who is, because I feel like somebody got two people, somebody's to dealing with two people. Who is the person that's dealing with two people in this connection here? Spirit, show me. Who is this person that needs to be held accountable? Who is the person dealing with two people? It says, this connection confuses me. I don't know what to do. So this is somebody here. See, 
I'm trying to be held. I'm trying to be accountable. So the person here <clears throat> who is dealing with two people, they're confused. They don't know what to do. So they're dealing with with two people, but they're accepting responsibility. So this is why I feel like somebody's trying to tap in spiritually because they're 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 discussing that it's like they're pondering like this is confusing to me. I don't know what to do. Part of me like this person, the other part of me know that it's not good for me, but I kind of like the other person. So it's almost like somebody know that what they're doing is not right, but maybe they're trying to make it right and choose. So what's going on with the person with two people? I want to contact you, but I'm not sure what to say or how to approach you. So somebody may be afraid to approach you because maybe, because you got love triangle in the reverse, maybe you're the one that decided to walk away. Maybe you knew about this person they dirt before they even knew that you knew about it. With this in the reverse, I feel like maybe you're walking away, the other person, somebody's walking away from it. And now the other person is confused about what to do. <sighs> Boy, what else for the person dealing with two multiple people? The person in the middle. Who is the person in the middle? I'm not sure what to do or say. See, somebody confused. And when you're dealing with a confused person, they'll string you along. They'll have you wasting your time, wasting your energy. I'm having fantasies about you. You see, you see, now they don't know I can hear you even in my silence. See, you running all through somebody's mind. See, they say if you saw the real me, would you still love me? Somebody is afraid of being exposed, but it's like they don't want to take life serious. But when it comes to the intimacy, they're still on that. But they don't know. It's like it's like I feel like somebody is staying stuck because they like what both like what what somebody likes what they're getting. So I feel like somebody wants to reach out to somebody, but I feel like somebody is not going to uh, accept it. Because you got, I can't do this right now. I was in denial. I can hear you even in the silence. So somebody may have blocked communication out of somebody because they decided they didn't want to be in a third party situation because they realized it was dangerous. Maybe it's because the other person has found out about it. Maybe somebody here is in denial, but they're trying to be accountable about it because some type of connection confuses this person. And by you not talking to this person, I feel like it's got this person in their head even more. I'm afraid if we get too close, you will abandon me. So somebody may be dealing with abandonment issues, childhood issues that has grown with them. And now here they are adult. And you ain't even got to be no older person. You could just be of, of adult age. And you've been it's like certain part of your life where you may find things where you're better at. But other things you may find bigger challenges. You may have a, a hard time committing. You may find yourself a hard time uh, staying in serious relationships. So let's let's dig deeper here. Some cards here. Okay, got some more cards here. Let's find out what's going on here. I hope this video finds you guys doing amazing. It could also represent somebody wants to live in harmony, but they feel like they can't live in harmony if it's a if it's a love triangle. They're like, well, how are we supposed to do this? I mean, I cannot really get serious with you knowing that it's another person here. No, I think I'm going to walk away. So I feel like somebody probably was the smarter person walking away from this. But now this other person here. They may they may be a uh, resistant change. So for for some of you guys, the best thing you can do is to walk away from a love triangle <clears throat> before it gets out of hand. That's what spirit is saying, because it gets dangerous of a lustful relationship. See, if this person's only about their lust and they're there, do whatever they have to do for whatever they want, and they can leave you in harm's way. They could have a jealous partner here that's stalking you. Like I say, you can't, it's too dangerous to play with people's feelings and emotions today. That's why people shouldn't do it. And that's why you need to know who you with because you could end up being with somebody and they said that they single and all that stuff like that. And you look up and they got a whole you got a whole stalker that you don't know about because of this person here. All right. Spirit, what's going on for the collective here? What's, what's going on with this love triangle? Let's 
seven of wands. <clears throat> Someone may have to feel like they need to protect themselves now, especially if it said dangers of lustful relationships. They go to Harfin or somebody's trying to resist something. Somebody may be trying to resist change. You may have to really protect yourself for real. Guard yourself. What's going on here with this love triangle? See, the lovers in the reverse. So this is a karmic connection. Could be a Gemini. This is a... Uh, not making up their mind, somebody not doing the right thing. Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. I feel like somebody considers themselves single, but they're going to have more than one person that they're dealing with. So they're not going to commit to nobody. Somebody probably wasn't really committing to nobody. You saw that card, I'm confused. They confused, but it says this connection confuses me. I don't know what to do. I want to contact you, but I, I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to do or say. Uh, and then they're going to have another half fantasies about you. So see, this is somebody here who is very, very selfish. They may always be out here looking for the next thrill. Somebody may have gotten a, a baby on the way while they out here acting single too. Because like I say, you got fertility in the reverse. Feel like somebody here is confused because they got too many people that they're dealing with, but maybe you were confused and maybe you're unconfusing yourself and dropping this load. See, for somebody, somebody got to get away from this person that don't want to settle down because this person that don't want to settle down and confused, they get around. Somebody get around. Now, it could be you. It could be a female. That spirit is telling you the dangers of dating two men right now because both of them are going to become, especially if you're not in love and, and you're the, it's like if you're the mask, if you are a alpha female, you're going to have these type of, you're going you're gonna to attract these type of, you're either going to do one or two things. If you're an alpha female, you're going to attract somebody here who is, they desire their woman that takes control. It just makes you more irresistible. Or if you're an alpha female, you're dealing with a man, it is going to make him pull back. Uh, in, in other words, they're going to let you take the, the, uh, the seat and they're going to start depending on you type of energy. Anytime you got a man that, that lets a woman take over, that means that they want a woman to take care of them type of energy. It's all about catering to them. So I feel like someone has decided that they don't want to be a part of a love triangle because they're dealing with somebody here who don't care about nobody but themselves. And they don't want to be held accountable. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to do nothing real. They just want to talk about the fantasies they have. In. So you know what they got to offer. And for some of y'all, it's best that you let, left this along anyway because this person one is on fire. See? See there? Yeah. <laughs> Don't nobody want that. So let's see. You could be a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right, Spirit, what's going on for the collective in this love triangle? Clarify the lovers in the reverse. What's up with this lovers in the reverse? What is this about? Choices, decisions, uh, multiple partners here. Needing to make up your mind here. Six of, what's that? Six of swords. See, I feel like somebody had to move on from this. Somebody refuses to be a part of your, your third, your love triangle here. What did it say? Love triangle. That's what it say, love triangle. Somebody say, uh-uh. I feel like somebody may have been a part of it. Maybe they didn't know it. Somebody may have had a miscarriage. See, nine of one. Somebody's, see. Somebody may have childhood issues that makes them play these games. Like, I feel like somebody, see, they go to Empress. 
Somebody may have got a child in the in the love triangle too. I feel like somebody's trying to move on. I feel like somebody is moving on, but they're not lead, moving on without scars. They're gonna remember this connection, and not for see, not not for the right reasons. See, because they go to Eight of Cups. They're gonna remember this connection, but not for the right reasons. See, Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like whatever lesson this is for somebody, it was a hard one. Because I feel like somebody really got into this connection, but it's almost like you were kind of settling too. Somebody may, somebody may have had confrontations with somebody because of this situation. Here, somebody may have actually had to get a restraining order or something. What's up with the seven of wands? Somebody may have had to go and hide and change their number. Somebody may have had to change their whole number, change their job. Why is the seven of wands here? Somebody may have found out about somebody's wife. Nine of cups. Spirit could be saying that you're going to have to guard your happiness. You're going to have to protect your happiness. You're going to have to protect it and not, not join yourself or allow people in your, in your life that's going to bring you down. That's bringing drama because that seems like what that's somebody doing. Two of pentacles here. I feel like it's rough. I feel like it's hard maintaining your emotional satisfaction or your emotional contentment because you may have been with somebody here who had you up and down, up and down, up and down, trying to deal with their toxic ways. See, there go the star card. I feel like somebody may be recovering. Somebody may be recovering in more than one way with the Knight of Wands on fire because somebody gets, got around here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? I feel like somebody was dealing with this person and it just began to be exhausting. Like, dang, I'm going to the clinic again or me and not again or, you know, not, not, not here this go again or not this again. I just feel like somebody just been through it with this situation, but it's serving. It's supposed to serve as a lesson. It may feel like a harsh lesson, but I feel like it's a lot. Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like somebody got something better to look forward to. You got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So for somebody, this is a harsh lesson or you may feel like you had to learn something the hard way. Like, like I feel like for whoever this is, you may have took some scars with you with this one. It's a reminder. See? The Magician card. For some of y'all, you could have been in a situation with somebody where it was so toxic in that connection where it was just blocking your flow. But once again, you're gonna get your you get you're gonna get your mojo back or you're gonna get your, your passion back because you walked away from this mess. Somebody probably wasn't sleeping good at night, wondering about this person here. Somebody may have been getting threatening, threatening messages. It's almost like somebody whole life changed dealing with this person, because this person brought in a whole bunch of confusion with the five of wands because they put you in a love triangle. Why is the seven of cups in the reverse? Or, or you knew you was getting in it, but when you got in it, you realized that that wasn't for you. It was just, it wasn't worth it. Why is the seven of cups in the reverse? I feel like somebody's coming out of the illusion, the lust, the fantasies, whatever they thought was cute or fun at first. Somebody realizing it just got real and that this ain't nothing to play with. Mm. They go to queen of cups. See, somebody fell in love. Somebody was looking for love in the wrong places. That's what I, I feel like somebody knew what time it was. You were dealing with a player here with that Knight of Wands and a love triangle, but you, somebody got caught up and they fell in love. That's what happened. They end up being, somebody got caught up with the illusions of love. Somebody mistaken lust for love is what I feel like. And I feel like they had to learn the hard way. Oof. That's what I feel like. But like I say, there is a new opportunity coming your way. Strength card. Could be a Leo. Ace of Swords, you're having a breakthrough. I feel like you finally gained clarity. You finally had a breakthrough and you finally releasing yourself and moving on. I'm talking to somebody here who found themselves in a love triangle for a very, very long time. And you just got titled dealing with it and you finally decided to move on. Now I could represent that the same person you moved away from ain't done yet. Why is the Knight of Wands here? 
Now this could represent a female because it says dangerous of, it says lust is desired, is a desire, a trap, wealth the first, and you can help take, well, you could take someone's soul, fall into the second, and they can take yours. See, this could have been somebody here who took your whole soul because, see, six of pentacles. Yeah, they generous, all right, but you know what they generous with? So, yeah, they, they rush in for stuff like that. But you want to talk about something serious, I feel like this person, don't, they don't know what. They can't make up their mind. They don't know if they want to settle down. They don't know what. So, I feel like whoever it is that left this situation, they should have. See? They're going to come in here for you to give to them, but they're going to hold back. Or Spirit could be telling you, you need to hold back from that energy now. If you don't, get, if you don't walk the way, stay away. Because they're emotionally unavailable. And all they're going to come in here and do is finesse you right on back in there. That's how come they may start sending you texts talking about they having fantasies about you. And, and, and if they ain't telling you they love you and they sorry and all this stuff. Now they're talking about they got fantasies. So spirits say hold back from this person because they're just trying to play on your emotions. But they are emotionally immature and unavailable. They in the night of wands energy. Oof, what's up with this ace of cups? Like, I feel like you got something better anyway. So it, it, you, the, the, it's good that you, for somebody, it's good that you walked away from this playboy type of energy because I feel like somebody called something. See, a spirit saying this, they got a harmony gone. See, like I said, like I said before, I feel like this could have been something that was good at first because it's the four ones in the reverse. It started off with this, the same four ones live in harmony. See, I feel like some of you guys is realizing that if you did decide to deal with this love triangle at first, you realize that no, that ain't for you. What was you thinking? It says true love is about growing as a couple, learning about each other and never giving up on each other. Mm, maybe spirit's telling somebody not to give up, but I feel like somebody put some space between them because I feel like somebody's realizing that this is dangerous. Ace of Cups. Somebody could be finding out that they're with child. See, ace of cups, three of cups. See, there it is again. Like I say, somebody all for the fun. They all for the fun and the lust and all those stuff like that. But this ain't nobody who trying to plant nothing. They ain't trying to stick around. This is like somebody here that wants what they want and they don't care who they, who they mess up along the way. The sun card in the reverse. Somebody is not tapping into their intuition. Someone is not. Somebody needs to tap into their intuition and, and um, see things for what it really is. Come out of the illusions and see what this connection really is. Because you may have a lot of fun with this person. They may make you feel good, real, real, real good. But just for a little while, I feel like spirit is saying that the pain that you will feel with this person is going to last longer than the pleasure with this one because they're not going to stick around. They're going to move on with somebody else. So Spirit says it's time for you to let this person go. They don't deserve you because you got a better offer coming in. There it is. Spirit says you ain't got to start over with them. This Spirit says start over somewhere else because you got it. you in a better position than this, this person is anyway because they live in a dangerous life. Nine of Pentacles. What's up with the Nine of Pentacles? It's either, either you can have some jealous lover or some type of disease. That's what I see. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, I feel like that's this person. They don't want to work towards nothing real or solid. They want to get the shine. They want to come and go as they want to. And then when you start trying to get them to talk about something serious, then they can start saying that they confused about what to do. They don't know what to do. But then they'll turn right back around and start texting you, uh, start texting you, um, that they have in fantasies about you. Ain't that something? Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a selfish person. It's all about themselves. And it's hard for them to hold themselves accountable because they, they egotistical. But once again, see, Knight of Pentacles, they, see, they slow to offer something stable and solid. Somebody here is all about themselves and somebody may be learning a hard lesson. But once again, it's not over for you because you got something way better than this. The moon. See, I feel like the secrets is coming out about this person. Some of y'all may have not known that she was in a, a love triangle. But either way it goes, spirits say hold back from this person. Because the only thing they're going to make you do is get stuck on them again. Eight of one, spirits say things are going to move forward in your life. 
things are gonna it could be this person finna call you and call you or you're gonna find out that you got somebody else that's interested in you somebody here who was who sees the quality in you because i just saw the queen of pentacles somebody that's coming in that's gonna offer you a real commitment but you ain't gonna mean nothing if you let this person wear you out and, and take all your shine away see five of swords in reverse once again it could be this person trying to get back with you but I feel like the only reason why this person going to try to get back with you is because for some of y'all. But I feel like you've walked away from it. See, they go to two of one. There they go need to make up their mind again. See? So that's why spirits are telling you to uh, this person try to come back around. I don't care what type of what type of good nothings they speak in your ear. I, whatever good memories you miss. Because remember, for some for somebody... Is somebody got love and lust confused? Because you got the seven of cups over here in the reverse with the queen of cups. It says dangers of a lustful relationship. It says lust is a tool, desire a trap. Uh, will the first and you can take someone's soul. Fall into the second and they can take yours. It's like you ever realize it's like sometimes it's like it can affect you in any type of love. If it's just a regular platonic, a friendship, a family, yeah, it's going to hurt you emotionally. But it's just differently on, a, on an inter, intimate level. It, it just, it seems like it, it, it has the tendency to control your every being. Because once you create that, that, that's a very, very solid, tight soul tie when you join yourself with somebody romantically, physically. And, and it's harder to get out of it. So you, you could go on, see, didn't I say, Spirit just telling you that this may have been a hard lesson for you, but this is also going to bring back justice. It's also karma too, but things are going to turn around in your favor, but you got to move on. Somebody got to let this go here and don't let that person come back to you. Things has changed and don't stay the same. That's how you're going to get justice here. You're going to get just to bring balance back into your life so that you can win and you can start something new because you got all these new opportunities here for you. All right, Collective, this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe.